There are people that state that they don't listen to me and they turn right around and regurgitate verbatim, damn near, the information that I present. So I know they're listening to me and it's hilarious because what they're trying to do is just overstep their boundaries and they can't answer particular questions so they'll fall back on the so-called black term. And there's multiple different terms that I disagree with and I've been telling you guys this for quite some time. The reason why I disagree with certain people that you see out there, especially those that are creating this thing called uh, foundational black America, is no such thing. Number one, the term black wasn't even utilized amongst our own people until the 1960s, so that's a brand new term. That has nothing to do with how America was founded, <laughs> straight up. Like, our people were not referring to ourselves as black people during the time of founding or with creating America, okay? There's a lot of terminology that I do not like using. It doesn't represent us. What it does represent, like when you use terms like black, what it does represent is that you're being comfortable with allowing strangers to call you whatever they want to call you. And some of you guys would turn your nose up at that statement and say, well, I mean, we've been saying it for years now. What does it matter, Dane? That matters a great deal. That matters a great deal because everybody else, every other class or race, whatever one you want to use, will be looking at us as if, well, I mean, he or she doesn't even know who they are, what they want to be, and anything like you just allowing a stranger to dictate what you are. And what is black? What is that? Like, I mean, yeah, we have a culture. We didn't just create this culture. The culture was already here prior to our people agreeing with calling each other black. Just allowing a stranger to do anything already. The legacies. The